They're designed to slow you down when you're driving through a neighborhood. Officially, they're known as traffic calming devices, but you probably know them as traffic circles or speed humps. But now Travis County is thinking about installing some in county neighborhoods, but not everyone thinks it's a good idea. KXAN's Reagan Hackleman explains. You run over them or drive around them all the time in Austin. They're called traffic calming devices, and they are a popular way to slow down traffic going through a neighborhood. But they also slow down something else, emergency vehicles. There have been studies done throughout the country which have indicated there is a, uh, an effect, uh, you know, a minimal effect on, on the response times. Assistant Chief Matt Orta with the Austin Fire Department says while there is a delay, it is only a few seconds. But first responders are in a business where seconds count. Orta says before a neighborhood can get any traffic calming devices in Austin, the fire department, EMS, and APD must give the okay. Travis County is now thinking of doing the same thing. Recently, a study asked county fire marshals if they're okay with traffic calming devices installed in county neighborhoods. Three fire chiefs said they support the county installing the devices. Three said they do not. Four out of the six chiefs said the devices would slow response times, and most of them said the devices could also damage their fire trucks. There has been documentation in some cases where there is a wear and tear with the uh, suspension components. Chief Orta does have some advice for Travis County and for neighborhoods considering the speed humps and traffic circles. I think neighborhoods uh, should be aware that there is a give and take process. If they're going to have a uh, speed cushions or what have you, then they probably will see a slight reduction in responses. Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.